My neighbor's cat is always coming into my yard, so I figured what I could do to get the neighbor's cat back into my neighbor's yard is to build a catapult and launch it over there. Also, I have a physics project that's due in three days that I've had three months to do. Um, that's the real reason I'm building a catapult. <laughs> At first I thought I'd build like a mousetrap car or maybe a potato cannon, but then I realized those ideas are absolute trash when my professor said that I'm not allowed to do that. So I guess I'll be building a catapult. Let's look at the instructions that my professor gave me just to make sure I don't do anything wrong. Possibilities include a catapult. Uh-oh, now he's gonna think I copied his idea. All devices must be portable and fit through standard front door. Ha! <laughs> Define a standard front door. Have you seen my front door? Write a bunch of stuff because this is school, and it's not school if it isn't torturous, so make us write some. Alright, so the next step is obviously the materials. So I think that I have some wood in the shed. I'm gonna have to take a look though. There's one piece of wood. Great. This is not what I need. That's like trim. <laughs> Shut up! So I was trying to figure out how I'm supposed to nail this to here because it's so like, it dips in here. And I know that this box of nails was advertised as being perfect for any situation. So I was looking in the box and I found this nail, which would be absolutely perfect because I can hammer it in down and it will go sideways into there. All right, so it's been about two hours and finally I finished it. I got step number one completed. There's the frame. Three, two, one, drop. Yeah, so that didn't work. I think the problem lied in the fact that I never added a release mechanism for the projectile, so it just got stuck in the sling. I adjusted the catapult for a few minutes and I still couldn't get it to work, so I think what we have to do is execute plan B. Obviously, if I wanted to pass the class, I'm gonna need a new approach. And if there's anything I learned from taking online classes since zero BC, it's that if you can't win honestly, use lies and deception. Oh, you don't know how I'm gonna do that? Okay, I have two words for you, visual effects. Using VFX, I can fool my professor into not only believing that I built his trebuchet correctly, but also that I did a really good job doing it. Three, two, one, drop. <laughs> After watching this video, only one thing went through my mind. It's an absolute piece of art. Nothing is better than this, except my professor isn't old enough to fall for it, so plan C. Plan C is actually plan A, over again. So basically what I'm gonna do is just fix the catapult. Bim, bam, boom, and it's done. All right, so I did some adjustments, and this is my first attempt with 30 pounds of weight on there. Let's see how it goes. Okay, that was good, but it wasn't good enough. I'm upping the weight to 50 pounds, and I'm gonna keep going until it breaks. Well guys, as you can see, that thing broke a lot easier than I thought it was going to, um, so I guess that concludes using this thing. 50 pounds, too much weight. I guess 30 pounds was just the perfect amount. Well, not seeing that ever again. Okay, you know how my professor wanted me to send him a video of my trebuchet working? So, I'm obviously not just gonna send him any video. I'm gonna send him two links. You can click the right one or the left one. If he clicks the right one, it's a rickroll, and the left one, it's also a rickroll. I'm not sending him my video at all. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Oh, also, I got this dope camera right here and this dope lens. You might be like, why are you not using it? Why are you using a little trash camera? Well, this lens doesn't fit the camera, so I'm waiting for the adapter to come. Next video is going to be some good quality stuff. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the video and um, give me some ideas.